हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेज एंड बॉक्स ऑन सर्टेंटी प्रिंसिपल लेट्स वेगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू हेज एंड बॉक इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू डिटर्मिन द एक्जैक्ट पोजिशन एंड मोमेंटम ऑफ ए पार्टिकल साइमल्टेनियसली again he formulate in any simultaneous determination if the position and momentum of a particle then the product of uncertainty in position of that of particle in certain direction and uncertainty in component of linear momentum of such particle in the same direction can never be less than a squared by 2 means in that of mathematical form del x that is the uncertainty in position into del px uncertainty in momentum that the momentum along that of x direction particle move along x direction show the uncertainty in position del x uncertainty in momentum del px never less than h squared by 2 means which is greater than equal to h squared by 2 whereas h cut is equal to s by 2 pi del x uncertainty in position along x axis del px uncertainty in momentum along x axis s cut s by 2 pi whereas h be the planck's constant let us understand it according to heisenberg it is uh, impossible to predict the exact position and momentum of a particle simultaneously in classical physics if we consider a system of particles and uh, let we prefer four or five number of uh, identical system where uh, there uh, will be one particle five number of identical systems where one particle is there that is also identical and to try to measure the position and momentum in each of these systems if we fix the position in all these systems and try to measure the momentum then the momentum is changed means it is differ in each of the system that is uncertainty in momentum again in these uh, identical systems if we fix that momentum and try to measure the positions of such particle in this identical system then we notice that there will be a differ in that of position in all such systems means at the same time means simultaneously we can't measure the position as well as momentum there are a misconception if uh, there will be any error in that of instrument through which we measure but actually that's not the instrumental error this is the fundamental nature of such particle we can't measure the position and momentum of such particle simultaneously why when quantum mechanics came into picture that the problem can be easily resolved according to quantum mechanics first uh, when we prefer a moving particle so that the moving particle is associated with a wave that the proposed by de broglie and uh, he show that that uh, wave length is equal to s by p planck's constant divided by its momentum but uh, 
the velocity of such type of wave is uh, greater than that of uh, speed of light that mathematical result is incomplete no particle is uh, move faster than the speed of light that's why schrodinger just modify it in that of particle there is no single wave it is the association of a group of waves which is called wave packet and uh, mathematically it is shown that the velocity of such wave packet which is called group velocity is equal to the velocity of particle due to that uh, wave packet concept we conclude that that uh, moving particle is associated with a wave packet if we consider uh, a wave another wave another wave a number of waves and they superimpose with each other so finally we obtain the resultant waves like this and this is in the form of a wave packet this is in the form of a wave packet in that wave packet in clear figure i show it this is a wave packet these two are the nodes of such waves which is associated to that particle and mathematically it is shown that the velocity of such wave packet at the group velocity is equal to velocity of that particle from this explanation it confirmed this is the super position of a number of waves it has a specific wavelength then another wavelength the wavelength of such waves are varied due to the super imposition of these waves we form the wave packet so in that of wave packet what exactly be the position of such particle we can't predict means we just say the probability of finding that particle in that of wave packet in this region this is the maximum probability of finding that particle that region again minimum as comparison to that region and at that of nodes it is zero probability of finding the particle at that region by taking that wave packet concept the hagenbox uncertainty principle can easily understood within this wave packet the position is uncertain again the momentum also uncertain as we considering that uh, velocity of such wave packet let come to that uh, mathematical scenario how we mathematically prove that result del x do del p x greater than is equal to h squared by 2 similarly if we consider it along y axis and z axis del y del p x greater than equal to h squared by 2 del z del p z greater than equal to h squared by 2 position and momentum are uncertain similarly another uh, physical quantities are there which are also uncertain two of them we can't simultaneously measure time and energy time and energy uncertainty principle del e del t greater than equal to h squared by 
angular momentum and angular displacement del l dot del theta is equal greater than equal to h squared by 2. Let us prove this uncertainty mathematical relations by taking the concept of wave packet proof. Let us consider two waves, each wave having the amplitude a, frequencies omega 1 and omega 2, propagation constant k 1 and k 2. In that of scenario, wave packet is uh, the combination of a group of waves. When a group of waves are imposed, superimposed, they form wave packet. For our convenient, we prefer two number of waves for our simple mathematical calculation. And these uh, two waves are superimposed with each other to form that wave packet. Whereas, uh, that sense to that of particle, these two are the nodes del x uncertainty in that of position within this wave packet. One wave y1 is equal to a cos omega 1 t minus k 1 x another wave y2 is equal to a cos omega 2 t minus k 2 x two wave equations according to the superposition principle the resultant y is equal to y1 plus y2 simply a as common in that of bracket we use the trigonometric identity cos a plus cos b that is 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 y is equal to a cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 simply in place of omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2 we use omega and k1 plus k2 divided by 2 we use k and omega 1 minus omega 2 as del omega k1 minus k2 as del k. So, that the equation simplified as y is equal to 2a into cos omega t minus kx into cos delta omega by 2 into t minus delta k by 2 into x. From that of equation, that part uh, show the phase velocity and this part uh, show that of group velocity. So, the phase velocity is equal to omega divided by k and group velocity delta omega divided by del k. At that of node, the probability of finding that particle is 0. Therefore, this is the group velocity expression by putting that uh, equation to that of 0. No particle should we obtain at that of node cos that one is equal to 0. What value of cos are 0? Pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, pi by 2 like this. So, in that of uh, term is equal to the values for this angle whereas, n stands for 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. This is a node that is another node. If uh, in that of successive nodes, one is at x1, another is at x2. So, x1 minus x2 as del x, del x is equal to x1 minus x2 uncertainty in that of position. If we consider x1 and x2 which represent the position of two conjugative nodes at any instant of time, now that the equation we put x1 as 1 del omega by 2 t minus del k by 2 x1 is equal to for first node that as 2n plus 1 pi by 2. Again, at second x2 del omega by 2 t minus del k by 2 x2 that value was successive. So, it is uh, 2n plus 1 plus 2 that is 2n plus 3 pi by 2. What be the difference in between these two? Subtracting that equation number 6 from that of equation number 1. We are subtracting equation number 6 from 1 del k by 2 x 1 minus x 2 that one 
सो टू एन टू एन कैंसल आउट थ्री माइनस वन टू 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 कैंसल आउट दैट इज फाइव इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू वी सब्सिट्यूट टू डेल एक्स सो डेल एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू पाए डिवाइडेड बाय डेल के एस के इज इक्वल टू टू पाए बाय लैम्डा फ्रॉम डी ब्रोकेल हाइपोथेसिस लैम्डा इज इक्वल टू एस बाय पाए इन प्लेस ऑफ लैम्डा वी सब्सिट्यूट एस बाय पी सो के इज इक्वल टू टू पाए बाय एस इनटू पी सो इट्स अनसर्टेनटी और डिफरेंशिएटिंग वी एस डेल के इज इक्वल टू टू पाए बाय एस इनटू डेल पी सो इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल के वी सब्सिट्यूट टू पाए बाय एस इनटू डेल पी टू पाए टू पाए कैंसल आउट दैट इज एस बाय डेल पी सो डेल एक्स इनटू डेल पी इज इक्वल टू एस दिस इज फॉर टू नंबर ऑफ सच वेव्स आज वी कंसीडरिंग टू वेव्स सो दैट रिजल्ट इज इक्वल टू एस इफ वी कंसिस्ट दैट वेव पैकेट A group of uh, large number of waves having uh, varying in their frequencies. So, mathematical uh, constant we introduce that is uh, greater than equal to half into s by two pi in place of s by two pi that is s cut. So, del x del p greater than equal to s cut by Which is the exact form of uncertainty principle. Del x, del p x greater than equal to s cut by two. Uncertainty in position, uncertainty in momentum greater than equal to s cut by two. Whereas s cut that is s by two pi. Next, we can show case how time energy uncertainty daily. And del t is greater than equal to s square by two. Let me consider a particle having mass m, which moves with a velocity along x axis as v of x. So its kinetic energy is equal to half m v x square. Now we convert it in terms of momentum, multiplying m, dividing m in that of uh, numerator and denominator side. So in that of numerator, m v x as p x square divided by two m. Differentiating it, so del t is equal to The differentiation 2 px divided by 2m into del px 2 to cancel out. That is px by m into del px. In place of that uh, momentum, that is mass into velocity, mass into px divided by m del px m m cancel out. So del is equal to px into del px. What is the velocity? That is uh, change in displacement to that of change in time. That is del x by del t. Therefore, that uh, del t is multiplied. So del a into del t is equal to del x del p x from Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The uncertainty in position, uncertainty in momentum, greater than equal to s cut by two pi. So del a by del t is greater than equal to s cut by two pi. Let us prove. Next, let we consider a particle which moves along that of radius. Or revolving around that of radius, sorry, uh, re revolving around that of circle, that uh, circle with radius r. If we taking uh, one of such position x, which creates an angle theta at that of center, so theta is equal to x y r. So uncertainty in that of uh, angle del theta is equal to del x by r. So del x is equal to del theta into r. Let refer it as equation number a. If we consider the angular momentum of uh, that uh, particle which uh, revolve uh, on that of uh, circle having the radius r, so its angular momentum l is equal to linear momentum into radius, linear momentum, mass into velocity into r. So mass into velocity that is the linear momentum into r. So uncertainty in that of angular momentum del l is equal to del p into r. In place of uh, del p, so del p will be del l. L divided by R. This is del x is equal to del theta into R. That is del p is equal to del L by R. Now multiplying del x into del p in place of del x, the value del theta into R in place of del p, that is del L divided by R. R R cancel out. Which one is del theta into del L? As we know the value of del x and del p from Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, so that the value is putted. 
therefore finally we obtain the uncertainty in angular momentum into angular uh, displacement is greater than equal to h cut by 2 another two pairs are uncertain so here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle according to Heisenberg we can't measure position and momentum of a particle simultaneously then he formulated a mathematical relation uncertainty in position to that of uncertainty in momentum is greater than equal to h cut by 2 similarly another pairs time energy uncertainty and angular momentum angular displacement uncertainty and it can be easily proved by taking the quantum mechanics as the web packet idea mathematical proof this is the uncertainty principle next time energy and angular momentum and angular displacement so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you